Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. And now in this topic, we are going to talk about the soaps and its preparation. So how it can be prepared, that is what I'm going to talk about in this topic. So friends, talking about soap, soap is now a daily usage of us and that's the reason that it's in this topic we are going to talk about the uses of soap as well as we are going to talk about that's how the soaps are being prepared. So talking about the soaps, that is soaps are the sodium or potassium salts of higher fatty acids which contain more than 12 carbon atoms and based on that, let us understand that is how we can prepare soaps. So friends, there are basically two main methods to prepare soap and out of which we are talking about the first one that is by hydrolysis of fat which is also known as saponification so in this case we have to consider a particular that is fat even this could be oil also or fat also so in this case we are considering that is glyceryl that is oleate and in this case basically we are making a reaction with three moles of NaOH so therefore on hydrolysis with NaOH that is on heating it we could get that is CH2C we could get a polyhydroxy group and in this case this is known as glycerol along with that of we could get that is three modes of C17H32COONA that is known as sodium oleate and in this case the sodium oleate is nothing but the soap and now this glycerol that has been obtained so even we could that is we could separate it by a fractional distillation and that is what we could so we could synthesize other products from the glycerol and that glycerol is basically used in soaps also so therefore this was one of the method where we have prepared soaps by hydrolysis of fat that is by doing saponification and now let me talk about the another method the another method is the direct neutralization of fatty acid so in this case this is nothing but a fatty acid that is rc double bond oh and suppose if we are treating it with naoh so in this case we could get that is rc double bond o ona that is nothing but a soap along with that of h2 that will be removed as a byproduct so in this case basically so in this case basically whenever we are obtaining a soap so that soap has a tendency to get soluble in water also so that's the reason we are adding that salt like NaCl. so in that case that soap and the water they would will be that is separated out and that is what we can obtain the soap and by doing a further process we could obtain a pure soap so therefore this is what we have obtained that is so therefore this is what we have discussed about the preparation of soap and what is the uses of soap use of soap is nothing but it is acting like a very good cleansing agent and that's the reason it can be used as soap it can be used as washing clothes also it can be used as so talking about the usage of soap, soap is a very good cleaning agent and that's the reason that we are using in the form of So talking about the usage of soap, use of soap is very much widely used nowadays and not only in cleaning the clothes but it is also used as that is in So thank you friends for watching this video, I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel, thank you so much